Welcome to D and D movie time, home of the movie reviews. Can we watch your movie? Oh my! I know that watching Good Burger might have to make some. Anyways, tonight we are going to be watching Good Burger. Um, Corey, you will become very familiar with that line. Uh, well, not that line specifically, but something like it. Um, so this is a movie I saw when I was younger. Just like with heavyweights, I this is probably not one of my most favorites, but it's a good summertime movie. It was good for kids. Um, and I really remember this being really funny, so I think Cor will enjoy this too. Um, she's never seen this before. I know because the movie's still wrapped and I have to unwrap it to watch it. So... Without further ado, what do you say we just jump in, go visit Good Burger? Let's go! I didn't say Good Burger, not Mario. Would you please take my order? Ooh. There is no way a guy can watch his own butt. Y'all ready for this? Can I take your All right, Cora, so we just finished Good Burger. Uh, you know, the thing is, Cora, some people, they get out of school, they want to have fun. Some people want to go on vacation. Some people want to lazy about and do nothing, but our main character realizes that some people actually have to get summer jobs. So what was this movie all about? Well, we meet our first main character, Ed. And we meet Ed and his dream. Well, we go ahead and see him being at the counter, talking to someone, and they all know for a playing good vocal. That doesn't happen until later in the movie. He just freaks out with food that starts talking to him. I was going to get to that part. Thank you very much. But the burger thing that you're talking about doesn't happen until later in the movie. Again, you're skipping things. You're mixing parts up. Um, Anyways, know. after the dream sequence with Ed, what happens? Who do we meet next? We go ahead and meet our next main character, which is, um... Dexter? Dexter. Just think of that show Daddy Watches. That you like the theme song to? What's the theme song? The theme song to Dexter. What? What? When he's cooking eggs and stuff. And ham. Whatever. Just get back into it. 
So what? What's Dexter's deal? Well, he, well, he just wanted to enjoy his summer doing stuff. And while he was driving with his friend, where well, Ed was going to work, or making a delivery. Yeah, making a delivery. He goes ahead. Dexter sees Ed in turns, but he goes ahead and accidentally, not on purpose, hits his teacher's car. Yeah, and? and the teacher is causing him, well not causing, but charging him 99 bucks. No, it's $1,900. $1,900. Estimated. Estimated. Turns out it, later that we find out it's actually a lot more than $1,900. Anyways, so what does Dexter do to try to earn the money to fix the car? He gets a summer job. Where? We're gonna go, Bo. No. That's not where he goes first. Where's his first job? <laughs> Mondo Burger. Mondo Burger. And who runs Mondo Burger? The bad guy. What's his name? Bad no, it's Kurt. You mess with Kurt, you go in the grinder. He said a na he said his name a lot. Did he? Did he yeah, he keeps talking about himself in the third person. Does Kurt look stupid to you? Yes. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I guess I'm taking over since you stopped. So he gets fired from Mondo Burger, then where does he go? He goes ahead and go to Good Book. Welcome to Good Bubble. <laughs> Where all the Good Bookers love. How may I take your order? That's how that sound the line goes. <laughs> it's Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order, please? No. You have to say more exciting. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the words are. Just say it excited. No. Okay. Anyways, so he meet so Dexter meets Ed, and what does Ed do? Ed goes ahead and says, "I know you from somewhere." No, that's Dexter who said that. But Ed gets Dexter a job at Good Burger, right? Yes. So then, what happens? So. The bad, the bad guy comes in. No, first Mondo Burger opens up. Mondo Burger opens up. And, and then, everything, and Good Burger is really slow. Yeah, and everybody starts going to Mondo Burger instead of Good Burger. What did you think of those Mondo Burgers? They're oh. huge, huh? Yes. Would you eat one of those? No, because little mouse have to take one billion bites. So? It's anyway. It's take fire for to eat. Anyways, um, so while things aren't looking so great for Good Burger and everything's slowing down, um, what does Dexter find out about Ed? Oh, it's easy. First, you start with hey, some hey, lunch. Hey, 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 now Mondo Burger, even though they just opened up, they can't keep up with Good Burger because Good Burger's doing better than it's ever done. 
because of its new sauce. Yep. Try it for free with the good burgers. They even send oh, yeah. this really attractive woman to try to seduce Ed, but it doesn't work. And yeah, she yeah. ends up getting beat up when they go play golf. Yes, yeah, the only thing that she got from Ned is a ball. And there's this whole little t tiny subplot with uh, Dexter and Monique, but that doesn't go anywhere because she finds out that Dexter's cheating Ed on this deal regarding the money. So they go to try to confront Mondo Burger and it turns on bad. Very bad. Where do they get sent to? They get like do you guys know like those military places? Insane asylum. Insane asylum. Uh, black. Hospital. Uh, black. Not black. Military. Black. Anyways. Black. They also do something else. They're gonna poison Ed sauce and they catch who? The old fry guy. Yeah, the very, very old fry guy. And then what do they do? And uh, so the three of them work together on a plan to break out. And yes, the old man did get caught, so he did join Ed and um. Yeah. Dexel. And uh, what do they do then, Cora, once they break out? What do they steal? They go ahead and steal the ice cream truck. Yep. Out of all things, they had to choose a ice cream truck. And then once they get back to Mondo Burger, they plan to steal one of those canisters of special ingredient, illegal special ingredient that's making the burger so big. And how does Ed save the day? He goes ahead and put that ingredient in the meat. Yep. That, got, that changed the big burgers into even more big burgers. So it that, causes the building to blow up. Not blow up, but destroyed. Yep. And then at the end, once everything is said and done, they ask Ed for a speech. And what's Ed's speech? Look to the good, look to the good burger, where all the good burgers live. How many times? No one says where the good burgers live. You're not even getting the line right. It's welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Where do you get where the good burgers live? They never even said that once in the freaking movie. All right, well, we have a crackhead here, so we're going to be right back after this quick break where we'll maybe give our final scores if she can uncrack herself. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. For thousands of years, the world has been protected by the Guardian of Light, or as he is more commonly known, Santa Claus. Over the centuries, factors such as fear and prejudice, greed and jealousy, misunderstandings, betrayal and war have segregated most humans from the magical world of elves, fairies, wizards, and the like. This has resulted in many misconceptions and generalizations of the true nature of Santa and his world. This six-book series by Sean Connaughton begins as the current of a long series of guardians is murdered by a group of monstrous enemies recently escaped from an enchanted South Pole prison. These creatures are loyal to the darkness, an evil force determined to exterminate the light in order to enslave all creatures of the world. Shane Connor, an average young man, suddenly finds himself being trained as the new guardian. As he adapts to his new life among fantastic creatures, he goes on an adventurous quest with a legendary wizard for the ultimate weapon to use against the darkness and faces murderous enemies like Rasputin, Morgana Le Fay, Krampus, and many more. Along with his best friend, Joe Gomez, Shane encounters politics, history, mysterious murders, new loves, his own hidden past, and racial dynamics among the fantasy races that turn out to be all too real. Their adventures reveal the true nature of the world and challenge the current state of how all races interact. This series expertly melds myths, legends, history, 
faiths, folklore, and secret societies into a fascinating, cohesive, comprehensive world of wonder and magic. From Atlantis to Olympus, from Hades to the moon, and from broomstick races to Christmas deadlines, join the new Santa Claus on his amazing journey. But beware, will Shane's quest achieve his ultimate goal of destroying the darkness and preserving the light of the world? Or is he actually playing right into a plot by dark forces that will result in his, and our, ultimate doom? So make your list and check it twice for the Guardian of Light book series. Download your audiobook or ebook today from Audible, Amazon, or iTunes. All right, Cora. So, on a scale of one to ten, what would you give Good Burger? Ten out of ten. <coughs> Why? All that I just have to say is, welcome, welcome to Goldbogle, the Goldbogle's home. <laughs> home of the good burger. <laughs> Jeez. Seriously. That's why you like it so much because you kept saying that? No. <laughs> what was your favorite part? The whole time movie. No. What part do you like the most? Well, I did like it when, like, Ed did, like, make the sauce and also, um, put a ping pong on his head and pull head. Not mine, but a I... secret angel's whatever head. And the part where there's a big explosion at the end, but the part that I did like most is the big explosion at the end. Oh, okay. Call Boom! Who is your favorite character in the movie? Are you sure you want to know? Yes. It was Ned. It was what? Mm -hmm. The main character. Ed? Ed, 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 Ed. What do you think of the. He's a dude, she's a dude song. Everyone's a dude. We're all dudes, I think is the name of the song. No. What'd you think of that? I mean, it was kind of weird. I mean, I wish my dad could play, could play but we don't want to get copyrighted. Yep. Do you have any other favorite Scenes or parts or things you wanted to talk about with this movie? Um, I mean, I guess. What? I did like the part. Well, I did like it a lot. Like, what the bad guy says, you better watch your butt. And then it. And then Ed says, okay, and then he watches his butt, and then he starts trolling around for his butt like a dog. And then when the bad guy leaves, Ed, Ed, Ed says, I quit. What? Oh, well, There's no way. There's no way. A guy. A guy can watch his own butt. Yeah. Alright, well, moving on to my score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this a, probably a solid 7. A uh, uh, what? It's a good movie. It does kind of hold up in certain spots. There is a little bit where you could definitely tell that this was based off an old skit that they didn't really have a lot going for it. Um, <coughs> a lot of the jokes were constantly reused, and I guess I never noticed it when I was her age, or I was probably a little older, because I think this was like mid-90s or late-90s that it came out. <coughs> but it does have some really good jokes in it that I really do enjoy. Um, and it is a lot of fun still, even to go back and revisit. Um some of the jokes I've used in my own personal life, so 
I do really enjoy this movie. And you know, Cora, me giving it a 7 isn't that bad. It's still more above average. It's still something I'm probably going to go back and enjoy. I'm just not going to enjoy it, go back and enjoy it all that often. You, you, could, you could have at least give it like an 8 or a 9. Why? That's how I felt. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to wrap up this episode of D&D Movie Time. And summer's only just beginning and we're getting rolling with more to come. So be sure to check back with us and see what summertime movie we review next. See ya.